So get back to get back to the video you want to enhance. You're going to go to your channel from the YouTube homepage, and along the top you'll see the video manager. So if you click on video manager, that'll take to you to all the videos you've uploaded so far. And what you're going to want to do is find the video you want to tweak and do some enhancements to, and hit edit. So outside of just the appearance of the video, our next enhancement we can do is with the audio. So that just means overlaying some music over your video, nothing like voiceover yet. So you have a whole variety of free tunes from YouTube and you can actually see 150,000 plus that you can search for. So once you've selected the, the tune, you can affect the balance. So how much of it is the original audio versus the added music. In addition to changing the balance of the audio, you can position it specifically where you want. You can trim down to specific parts of the audio that you actually want to use and layer them exactly where you want in terms of the video. Now annotations I think are going to be really beneficial to most students and by annotations I mean adding titles and a little bit more than just titles. We can do more with that. So once we go to annotations we can get a timeline of your video and add a couple of different types of annotations. I'll just talk about a couple of them. Speech bubble is basically a bubble with a little tail on it. So if you wanted to point at something you can definitely do that. So we can drag around the little pointer there and never position it towards the person off screen. So if you wanted to name that person, we definitely could. So put in some text there. We can change the size of the text as well as the color and the background there to get the best enhancement on. You can drag the position right in that video frame. Like I said, you can change the position, the tail of it. So what are you pointing at? You can position where it starts by typing in a number or within the screen there, you can actually drag that piece around, that annotation. Now, you don't just need to have one annotation in there at one time, you can add multiple annotations. So I said speech bubble is one of the ones we're looking at. The other one is gonna be a note. So a note is more like something that's gonna sit in place there more than having like a specific tail. And again, typing it in, you can just type in the text directly in the box there and it'll show up in real time. In terms of one of the things you're going to kind of see, you can drag around and resize that note in there, reposition it within the frame of the video. Now one thing that's really cool is that when this pops up, someone can actually click on that note and it'll be, act like a hyperlink. You can take it to a whole bunch of different places, like another video, another place in that video, you can take them to a different website or a different playlist. So that's going to be really powerful for linking videos to other pieces. Last one I'm going to talk about is a title. So a title is basically what it says. A title. <laughs> you know, you're going to, if you want to put it at the front or the back of a video. So you can make multiple titles and put them within your video. So this one we want to maybe extend along the head of the video as more of an introduction. And then we'll make another title to put at the very end. And once it's typed, you can see it's all at the front. But if we just drag it to the end of our video clip, now it's going to be at the end. And when you're happy with all your edits, just remember to hit Apply Changes to put those changes into effect.